Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to display data string on dot matrix display using PIC16F877. In today video I will show you how to scroll data string on dot matrix display using PIC16F877 microcontroller. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Project, how to scroll data string on dot matrix display. In this project, we will scroll data string on dot matrix display. We will interface the dot matrix display with PIC16F877 microcontroller. Rows are connected with port C and columns are connected with port D of a PIC16F877 microcontroller, and the microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. We are using ULN2803 IC with rows, because microcontroller cannot provide enough current for operating 64 LEDs of dot matrix display. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC16F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port C is interfaced with dot matrix displays rows through ULN2803 IC. Because microcontroller cannot provide enough current for operating 64 LEDs. Port D is interfaced with dot matrix displays columns through current limiting resistors. And the value of resistor are 100 ohm. Here is dot matrix display. We are using 8x8 dot matrix display. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal. And 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus. I used these pull-up resistors, because in Proteus ULN2803 was not working without these resistors. But in practical you don't need these pull-up resistors. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC.
Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will paste it here. Now I will define you the code. Hashtag define row port C define port C as row. Rows are connected with port C. Hashtag define col port D define port D as col. Columns are connected with port D. Unsigned char. Row data 78. This line define data type char. Array named row data. And it has total 78 elements. 0x3f, 0x48, 0x88, 0x48, 0x3f, 0x00, this is code for alphabetic character A. 0xff, 0x91, 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 0x6e, 0x00, this is code for alphabetic character B. This is code for character C. This is code for character D. This is code for character E. This is code for character F. This is code for character G. Character H. Character I. Character J. Character K. Character L. Character M. Unsigned char. COL data 8. This line defined data type char. Array named COL data. And it has total 8 elements. 0x80, 0x40, 0x20, 0x10, 0x08, 0x04, 0x02, 0x01. Unsigned char. R data, C data. Next, del. Define variable. Void ms delay. Here is function of delay. Unsigned char. Y, define variable named Y. For loop. Y equals 0. Y less than 60. And increment Y. For loop for delay. Void main. Main function. Main code start from here. TRISC equals 0x00. Set port C as output port. TRISD equals 0x00. Set port D as output port. R data equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. C data equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. Next equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. While 1. Endless loop. It will repeat code again and again. For del equals 0, del less than 50, del plus plus, increment del. That is delay for next character data. For c data equals 0, c data less than 8, c data plus plus. This for loop move character on dot matrix display. col equals col data, c data. This line find the col data from array and send that code to col, col is interfaced with dot matrix's columns pins. The initial value of c data is 0. So array send first code to col. Row equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array. And send that code to row. Row is interfaced with dot matrix's rows pins. The initial value of our data is 0. So array send first code to row. MS delay. Call delay. Our data. Plus plus. Increment our data. If our data equals equals 78. Our data equals 0. If our data will reach 78 set its value to 0. So it will send all 8 codes of rows and columns data to dot matrix display. After exit from this for loop. R data equals next. The next has 0. So copy next to R data. If next equals equals 78. Next equals 0. If next will reach 78 set its value to 0. Now again this for loop start repeating. 
Del for loop repeat 50 times. After exit from Del for loop. Next plus plus. Increment next. Now the value of next is 1. Our data equals next. And copy next to our data. Now again Del for loop and see data for loop star repeating. But now data move on next column. COL equals COL data. C data. This line find the COL data from array and send that code to COL. Now value of C data is 0. So array send first code to COL. Row equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array. And send that code to row. Now the value of R data is 1. So array send first code to row. MS delay. Call delay. R data. Plus plus. Increment R data. If R data equals equals 78. Now again all 8 codes of rows and columns data send to dot matrix display. Now again this for loop start repeating. Del for loop repeat 50 times. After exit from del for loop. Next plus plus. Increment next. Now the value of next is 2. Our data equals next. And copy next to our data. And step by step it will send all code to dot matrix display. This process repeat again and again. And complete data string will move on dot matrix display. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see dot matrix display show complete data string moving on it. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And. Keep watching Star Technology 5G.